It's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube chapters in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to go to DaVinci Resolve, and you want to open up your project. So YouTube chapters are basically just timestamps with titles in the description, and these tell the YouTube player where to put the timestamps. So the way DaVinci Resolve does this is they have something called markers. And markers are basically just little things that you can put on your timeline that you can put a title on. So to add a marker in DaVinci Resolve, all you have to do is to go to the spot you want to put it on the timeline and just double tap the M key. And this will pop up the time as well as how long it will take. And you just give it a name. So I'm just going to call it Marker1. And I can also go to the beginning and add one called intro and add one as outro. And I could just put these all over my timeline. So now what we need to do is we need to convert these DaVinci Resolve markers into YouTube timestamps. So there are two different ways to convert the timestamps. The first method is super simple, but it has a drawback. And the drawback is that you have to upload your DaVinci Resolve video to YouTube directly from DaVinci Resolve. So you can't make any changes to the file after you export. The way you do this is you go to your Deliver tab and you change the export type to YouTube. You just fill the details here and you need to go down to here where there's a checkbox that says Upload Directly to YouTube. And if you click that, then you can scroll down and say Chapters from Markers. And you can set the marker color that you used for your chapters. And once you do that, you could just add it to the render queue, give it a file destination, and then just render this and it'll go directly to YouTube. So the next method that I prefer is to export your timeline markers separately and then convert them into a timestamp compatible format that you can then paste in your video's description. So the first thing we have to do is to get these timeline markers directly out of DaVinci Resolve. So the way we do this is we go up to your media pool and you want to find your timeline and you're going to right click, go to timelines, export, and then timeline markers to EDL. And they're just going to save it somewhere. And now we can go to where our EDL file is stored. So the problem we have with this is if we open up this EDL file, you will see that it is in quite the unusual format. And we can't just paste this into our YouTube video description because YouTube doesn't know how to read this. So we have to figure out a way to convert this EDL file into YouTube chapters. So there are a number of ways that this can be done. For example, you can use an online tool to convert these EDL chapters. Another way you could do this is to use some sort of like shell script or batch file that converts the EDL file to YouTube chapters. But what I did is I actually wrote a script for this purpose. So we could just go to the GitHub page for my script. So what this does is it's basically a tool that integrates directly with macOS that lets you directly convert your EDL file to YouTube chapters with just a few clicks. So to install this, we're just going to go down to this green code button and we're going to click download zip and we're going to go to our downloads folder where this zip is stored and we're just going to double click on this to extract it. And now I can open up this folder. We want to double click on this EDL to YouTube chapters file to install it. And it's going to open up a window like this and we could just click on the install button. So once that's done, we could just go to our EDL file and go right click, quick actions and click on EDL to YouTube chapters. And it just pops up a window just like this. And this is a YouTube compatible format. So we could just copy this and paste this directly into our video's description. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.